been slated by Honorable Ferguson. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the day that you've given us, Lord. Pray that you will watch out for our city for the upcoming cold front, Lord, and be with us in our decisions today. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we're here today uh, regarding our restaurant tourism tax, uh, known as the Penny for Your Parks. Um, keeping an update on what's going on with our state legislature. Uh, there's been information that's been delivered to me in the last few years that has prompted this meeting. And basically what the situation is, Senator Parker's bill, uh, which as y'all know, would give an extension uh, to, the, to the current bill for four years with an indirect referendum clause attached to it. Um, there is uh, not unanimous support of that by our DeSoto County House delegation. Um, it's still uh, based on verbal. Uh, six out of 10 of our reps have indicated that they support an extension. However, I was notified yesterday that unless there's unanimous support from our own delegation, uh, that this bill will not get out of the House committee. So uh, looking at what's best for the city of South Haven, uh, we definitely do not want this tax revenue to end. It's been tremendous for our city. Our parks program is known throughout the Southeast, even nationally, and uh, it's extremely important that we have a way to continue funding uh, the enhancement and expansion of our parks program. And so that's why we're here today to amend um, a resolution, to have a new resolution that we've been told will get unanimous support from our House delegation. And the main thing that's different about that is that it will bring a referendum to the June 6 uh, municipal election to let the people of South Haven vote again. They have voted twice in favor. It's important to know that last time with a 74% majority, but there are still some among our House reps that feel like it should be voted upon again. Uh, the one thing that I will make sure everyone understands is that regardless of what happens today, and what happens in the state legislature, the bill will still have a repeal date. There's been a lot of misinformation out there that this is a permanent tax with no way to repeal it. That's false. Uh, there is no truth to that whatsoever. Uh, Parker's bill also had a, re a four year repeal date on it. This one will do the same. So regardless of what our house reps uh, propose, the state legislature in Mississippi uses repeal dates for tourism taxes as a checks and balances mechanism. So regardless of what we do, it's still gonna have that. But long way to say that we wanna give South Haven the best chance to uh, continue with this uh, because we love our parks uh, program. It's, it's, it's extremely important for our city and for our kids. So with that being said, uh, the new resolution is exactly uh, what was suggested earlier this year uh, that would require a, um, a new referendum. And we've been told by all of our um, uh, delegation that if we do that that they will support it so we plan to hold them accountable to that they said they would support it so we're, uh, that's my recommendation to this board that you vote in favor of it and that we um, hold our house reps accountable for uh, supporting that in Jackson Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt the resolution of the Mayor and Board of Aldermen of the City of South Haven requesting the legislature of the state of Mississippi to authorize a vote on June 6, 2017 to extend for a minimum of four years the repeal of the tax under Senate Bill 2925 for the City of South Haven, Mississippi to levy and collect an additional 1% sales tax on the gross proceeds of restaurants for the promotion of South Haven tourism, parks, and recreation as presented on this date. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Brooks, a second by Alderman Flores. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Alderman Brooks? Yes. Alderman Kelly? Yes. Alderman Hale? Yes. Alderman Payne? Yes. Alderman Gallagher? Yes. Alderman Ferguson? Yes. Alderman Flores? Yes. That motion carries. Is there a motion to um, adjourn the meeting? So moved. Second. We got a motion by Alderman Flores, second by Alderman Gallagher. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Ayes have it. Motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned.